Hello, everybody. Mike Welch coming to you again from the paddock here at Churchill Downs, where the rains are coming, too. Uh, forecast for rain here later today and then the Thursday. Hopefully, uh, things will dry out for Oaks and Derby Day. I'm here with the Daily Racing Forum Kentucky Derby Workout Report, brought to you again by the good folks from Spendthrift Farm. They're playing our song in the background here. Uh, a rather une uneventful morning, uh, you know, like I said, all the major works are done a little. We did have an Oaks blowout sort of this today and uh, one impromptu derby kind of blowout, a little nothing official there, but we'll get to that. As I mentioned yesterday, a couple of horses I want to focus on today after yesterday's training session were Hot Rod Charlie and Highly Motivated. And Hot Rod Charlie did leave the pony yesterday, uh, jogged for a second straight day, so... There's some concern in some corners about that, but boy, no concerns this morning. Boy, did he look good today. Full of energy, had a great gallop, and then when he turned down the backside the final time, he actually blew out a quarter of a mile, around 27 seconds down that backstretch before his pony, Lava Man, helped pick him up at the end of the backstretch. So if you like Hot Rod Charlie and you had a little concern he didn't do anything yesterday, he sure had a good day today, so no concerns there. Highly motivated, I mentioned yesterday. Wasn't really moving as smooth as I'd like to see or had, as he had, I thought, last week. So we're keeping an eye on him again today. And kind of the same situation today, uh, just not moving as smooth as I saw before his previous work. So uh, something, again, we'll keep an eye on uh, tomorrow morning, which will be the last day we'll be here uh, watching these training sessions. Everybody trained today except Brooklyn Strong, who just arrived uh, from Parks and worked earlier in the week. He, he walked today. Another horse, uh, California Invader, uh, that I had my eye on was Rock Your World today, and I thought he had a very good morning. Um, he actually, uh, he was going along strong as it was, and then Hidden Stash, who also arrived here from Keeneland a couple of days ago, or yesterday, uh, was out in the track for the first time today. Hidden Stash was galloping down nearest the rail, or near the rail, came up inside Rock Your World, and when he got a glimpse of him, kind of took off again. I think he also visited the starting gate for a little schooling session as well, as well so... All is good with Rock Your World. Superstock today, I took note of him. I think as I previously mentioned several occasions, he's been galloping in draw range to try to kind of keep him from doing too much. Well, the draw reins were off this morning, and he was uh, on his best behavior. He looked good. He had another good day. So uh, Superstock has done well uh, coming out of his win in the Arkansas Derby, although he's, I think he's 50-1 to 1 on the morning line, even though he's coming out of a grade one win. Can't talk about the... Uh, Derby horses without talking about uh, the favorite essential quality and his stablemate, Mandaloon. Once again, like I said this morning, uh, you could uh, set your clock by them at least the last two days, 5.15 a.m. They were right out there, first ones on the track, and they both had another good day. I love the way they both, uh, they were kind of separated by about a half a mile, but both went around at the exact same pace the entire mile and a half. I put a watch on them, ripping off... Uh, Steady uh, eighth-mile splits of about 17 seconds each. The riders did a great job. The horses were uh, very happy. So, again, another good day for our favorite essential quality. And his stablemate, Longshot Mandaloon, who has looked good here for the last 10, 12 days that I've been around. Uh, Keep Me In Mind also came out again uh, under, the, under the lights. And I just don't like the way he's been handled here. Or was it the last couple of days, the rider uh, just had death grips on him. I, I'm just thinking he's afraid he's going to do way too much. But instead, he had such a hold on him, he didn't really let him do much at all. And the horse was throwing his head and kind of had his legs up and down. So I, I just wasn't happy with uh, the way he, he did that this morning. I don't think it's a physical issue, but uh, he wasn't allowed to do his best today. Medina's spirit, uh, the first day I saw him was the best day I liked him. Uh, the last couple of days, I didn't think he was quite as sharp as he was that first day here, but uh, he's progressing into uh, Derby Day for trainer Bob Baffert. Never have to worry about them, Bob, Bob, those Bob Baffert horses coming into the Derby. The Pletcher Quartet all went well today, uh, led by known agenda as always, and they all schooled in the paddock just a little while ago out here. Uh, like the King for trainer Wesley Ward was the last uh, derby trainee today. Came out at 9 o'clock, first on the track. Uh, had a track all to himself at that point. Uh, nothing special, just kind of galloped around there at a leisurely pace. King Fury, another good day for him as well. On the uh, Philly side of the letter, we did have competitive speed. It was going to be maybe the longest shot in the board in the Oaks. She blew out a quarter mile down the stretch in about 26 seconds flat. Nothing uh, too much to uh, report about her. Uh, she's a decided outsider in here. 
uh, as we get closer to the Oaks. Uh, Millie Foy uh, was, uh, again, uh, about the, one of the first ones out in the track and again had another good morning. But, oh, that post-14, that's not going to help her chances at all. So we have uh, one morning left to uh, observe all the Derby and Oaks horses. We'll be here uh, bright and early tomorrow. Again, although Essential Quality and Mandolin, I believe, are scheduled to come out at 7.30 to school at the gate, so most of the activity is going to take place from 7.30 on once again tomorrow. So keep it right here at DRF.com. We're getting closer and closer now, only 72 hours to the big event, the 2021 Kentucky Derby.